Hi, this is Chris with Cedar Valley, and I'm going to show you how to play No Longer Slaves. Uh, this is one finger chord, so really simple chords, very easy for the beginner, and uh, this is a great song to learn how to play the guitar and sing at the same time. So I'm going to show you the chords real quick. If you want more in-depth or a uh, longer video on the chords, you can click right here, this link in the description. If not, let me go through them very quickly, just the chords I'm going to use in the song. So the G, right there, everything on that third fret. I'm just going to move this one finger the whole time. That down one string on the third fret again, there's my C. Same string back to the second fret, that's my E minor. And I'm down two more strings, and there's my D. Those are the chords that I'm going to use in the song. Again, the chords are going to be G, C, E minor, and D. Those are the chords in the song. Okay, so there's really three sections to the song, and you have the verses, you have the chorus, and then the woes and the bridge. So the first section is going to be the choruses, and I'm going to downstroke on the B, and I'm going to palm you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so for the verses, it's going to be G. So there you go, again it's G, C, D, G, and I'm just moving that one finger at a time and I'm downstroking on the D. You unravel me with the melody, you surround me with the song of deliverance from my Chorus, which is going to be C. I'm no longer D. Slave to G. G to fear. And then the second time around, you're going to go E minor. I am to D. A child of God to G. So again, the two sets are going to be uh, C, D, G, and E minor, D, G. So remember it like that. C, D, G, E minor, D, G. And then you're downstroking as well. So it's, I'm no longer a slave to fear. G. Now we're going to E minor. I am a child of God. Okay, and just a quick note right here. If I play this by myself or just me and a percussionist, um, I'm going to open up on the chorus. So I might play down, 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 up, down, or down, down, up, up, down something that opens it up so it's a separate part of the song. So I'm not going to just palm you that the whole time. Now if I have a band, this is when my band's going to come in with dynamics and bring a little bit more into the song. Um, so just a note, if you're leading worship with the song, you don't have to just do this the whole time. You can open it up on the chorus, go back to this on the verse. Um, so then it goes into the verse and the O's, and then you have, I'm going to show you the O's and the... Um, and the bridge. So it's very simple. It's going to be your E minor. Okay, you can play it like this, like this. I'm just one finger at a time, E minor. And then your D. And then your, your G and C. So again, E minor, D, G, C. So you can go, oh, oh. Yeah. 
is going to be E minor, D, G, C. So that's it. I'll go through the song. Um, probably how I would lead worship with it without a band and maybe open it up on the chorus so you can follow along. Um, I actually cut the song short. I cut that uh, second bridge out when I do it, or the first bridge out when I do it. And uh, I only do the O's once, I think, too many O's in the song, kind of people get lost a little bit. So uh, that's it. I'll pray for you, and then I'll do the song real quick. And uh, thanks for watching. So let me pray. I uh, just pray, Jesus, that you would touch um, the person watching this video, that they would uh, learn the song easier, that uh, they'd feel you and see uh, your presence in their life, that they would be strong uh, in learning the Bible as strong as they are learning their instrument. Um, and that you would use them um, to lead worship and, and to show you in other people's life. Um, you are holy, God. You are good. Thank you for the cross. Amen. So let's go through this song. some songs um, or if you have any questions please let us know